Hey guys, in this video we're going to explore more advanced uh, screen options uh, of InVision. So we opened the last file that we worked on which is this test file and uh, in order to view these options we're going to click uh, on view screen and uh, as you can see now we have uh, the full the screen opened in full width and uh, let's explore these uh, options uh, on the bottom. So starting from the first one, uh, we're having the breadcrumbs which allow us to understand the exact location in which we, we are at. And uh, basically, if uh, the, the most right one is the uh, current screen we're at, and if we click on this smaller arrow, we're gonna see a different uh, um, overview of uh, the other screens so we can uh, simply browse around uh, um, through the different screens and sections. We can also uh, search the name of a screen and uh, we can also uh, drag and drop uh, and upload some uh, new screens over here. Now let's uh, hide this by reclicking on the arrow and uh, the option on the name on the left, uh, this is the project we're working on. So this is the test project. If we click on it, we're gonna see that uh, we're being redirected to the actual project itself. And as we click on here, if uh, we click uh, on uh, the very left item, which is the Envision icon, we're going to be redirected to all of the prototypes uh, uh, that we have uh, over here. Now let's go back to the screen uh, and um, let's explore uh, briefly these uh, bottom icons over here. So the preview mode is the default mode in which uh, um, you basically open the screens. Uh, and uh, this allows you to, to just uh, see the screens as it is. Now, the build mode is something that we're gonna explore more in depth uh, in uh, other videos, but basically it allows you to create uh, hotspots uh, which uh, allow for interactions uh, and linking uh, and um, some pretty cool, cool stuff, uh, but we're gonna explore this uh, in uh, other videos since it's related to prototyping uh, interactions. Now the common mode is uh, great uh, because uh, it allows clients uh, to leave comments uh, directly on the screen. So for example, if they want uh, you to change uh, the text, uh, they can just click on here and leave a comment uh, such as uh, change this uh, text to X, Y and Z. And, uh, as they click uh, on send, you're gonna receive an email notification if the project is synced with your email and uh, this is pretty cool. You can also add some smileys too. And um, going on the right part, this is the inspect mode and um, again, we're gonna explore this in more details in uh, another video, but basically what inspect does, uh, it allows uh, developers especially to see all of the details uh, of uh, your designs, um, such as the CSS details, and uh, they can even copy the code uh, directly. And uh, if you upload the assets, they're gonna be able to see all the assets such as images, icons, and uh, much more for uh, uh, that specific project. Over here we're having the history mode and uh, here we're going to see the past versions of uh, this design. If you upload the same design uh, um, different times, you're gonna see the different versions here on the top left. Now going on these uh, um, options over here, we're having the social share so you can uh, send the screen to your Slack team or directly on Tribo and uh, soon on Behance I'm seeing here. Um, here's the icon instead for uploading screens. Um, here's the configuration, which um, allows you to uh, basically co configure some uh, uh, visual options, such as the design light alignment in which you're gonna see the screen. So as you can see, as this changes, um, the screen uh, um, alignment changes. Um, here's some uh, zoom and scroll behaviors. Um, the default is always normal, but you can set it also to hide horizontal overflow and scale down to a browser width. And uh, you can also set the background. So for example, if sent it center and we change the background, you can see that um, there is a difference and you can even insert your um, color code, the one of uh, the exact color that you want or even an image for that case. 
and um, this is an important checkbox because um, it tells uh, if you want uh, to apply to all current and future screens uh, so that you have uh, a consistent uh, all these options align consistently between all of the screens of your entire project and of course once you're done you click on save and you're pretty much good to go now here's an option for the screen status so you can um, um, basically tag a screen with uh, one of these four options which is on hold in progress or needs review or approved and uh, this will allow for a visual tag of the screen status. And uh, over here, the last two options is freehand, which uh, is um, uh, something that we're gonna further the, um, explore in another video. But basically it allows you to create uh, prototypes, uh, drawn screens, uh, create wireframes and much more. And uh, here's a very important uh, button, which is the share button. And uh, as you can see, on the top, uh, the, uh, the share button will allow you to search via connections. Now, in this case, I am the only connection in this, uh, um, in this project, which, uh, you know, since I'm, I'm the only owner. However, if you want to invite uh, someone else, so let's say that you, you'd like to invite a stakeholder or a member of your, of your team or the CEO even, you can simply add their emails over here, send invite, and uh, by in, in that way, they're going to uh, be able to see all of the details of the project and see the, the actual project itself just as you're seeing it. Another option is uh, the public share link, which is great. And just keep in mind that they won't be able to access the inspect mode. Um, and I'm not sure about the comment, uh, the, the changes from time to time, but basically um, this will allow you to have a shareable link. You can also click on link settings and uh, copy uh, the link. After that, you tweak the, these uh, options uh, as you prefer. So this is it for this overview. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you.